is up guys, it's a Saturday night. I'm standing here outside the subway station for Glorieta de Insurgentes. And this station is right by this big building. And it's also right by the neighborhood that I'm gonna show you guys today, a place called Zona Rosa. This is definitely a party district, so I figure, you know, Saturday night is just getting started. There's probably gonna be some action. So let's go check it out. Zona Rosa is full of bars, full of clubs. It's got casinos, it's got sex shops. Whatever you're into, you'll probably find it here. Very good tacos at the place behind me. If anyone else is from the area, you know what's up. But yeah, there's no shortage of food options here. Lots of fast food, as you can probably see. I don't actually know exactly where Zona Rosa begins and ends, but my understanding is it's about four or five square blocks. And this street that I'm walking you down here, this is kind of the center of the madness. So as mentioned, you can find love stores or sex shops uh, within Zona Rosa. Uh, in general, I would say that the sex shops here are more open than you find back home in Canada or maybe in the States. You know, back home they're usually like hidden down some little alley. But here, they're pretty open about it. <laughs> so in addition to being the center of the gay community in Mexico City and being known for its nightlife, uh, Zona Rosa also has a lot of Koreans living here, which was a big surprise to me when I first arrived. In fact, there are some places where you see more Korean signs than Spanish. I wish my girlfriend was here. She's Korean, actually. Uh, but she's feeling a bit sick today, so she didn't make this video. But I'm starting to get hungry, so I'm gonna go get some Korean food, show you guys what that is like. Uh, and then when we come back outside, it's gonna be pitch black. And I'll give you one more quick walk through Zona Rosa. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is sort of the end of Zona Rosa uh, when you go beyond this you're entering into a really nice neighborhood called Reforma. Down that way, there's a nice shopping mall called Reforma 222. Um, but we'll have to leave that for another video. <laughs> okay, I lied, guys. Before I go have my meal, I gotta show you one more thing because this is too cool not to include. This coming up is El Angel de Independencia, the Angel of Independence and it is one of the most famous landmarks in the city. I mean, if you only have one night out drinking in Mexico City, I'd probably recommend spending it in Zona Rosa and then walking the couple blocks over to see this thing because, I mean, just take a look. Just watch out when you're crossing the street to get there. Uh, the traffic's pretty crazy. Let's go get some Korean food. So this place has a pretty awesome barbecue. Uh, if I had some friends here, I'd probably do that. But since it's just me, I'm gonna have a quick snack. It's actually really busy in here tonight. Uh, making it kind of awkward to do my video, but I'll try to get you guys some shots of my meal. I will say one thing though. This is the coolest thing about eating at a Korean restaurant. See that button? Whenever you need attention in a Korean restaurant, you just press that button and then they come to you. It's like the button you have in an airplane. It's great. I don't know why every restaurant doesn't have that. Yeah, 
Imagine. Kimbap roll is like sushi, but uh, instead of having fish, you have Korean uh, Korean vegetables. So that was it, Korean food in Zona Rosa. You know, I got the kimbap roll because I thought it would be quick, but they were so busy it actually took a while. But as you can see, it's pitch black. So I think it's time for another walk through Zona Rosa to show you what it looks like on a Saturday night. <laughs> But you know what guys, it's a Saturday night and all this filming's got me thirsty for a few cervezas of my own. Uh, so I'm going to end the video here. Do you guys know other areas in Mexico City that are good for nightlife, good for partying? Let me know down in the comments. As always guys, I'm Dan from The New Travel. See you next time. <laughs>